baptism. Yeah, he keeps colors. I know I hear from you, kid. St. Nicholas soon would be there. <laughs> Children were missing and snug in their beds, while visions of sugar bones danced in their head. Mama in a kerchief, wearing my cap, I just settled down for a long winter snap. Don't eat that. <laughs> when out on a lawn, there rose such a clatter. I looked in my wondering eyes should appear in a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Can you touch him? Can you touch him? Can you touch him? The little driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be so quick. More rapid than the rest of the horses in the sky. I'm going to skip to the good part. Now dash her. Now dance her. Now prance her. Now fix her. On Connor. On Cubit. On Donna and Benson. To the top of the porch. To the top of the wall. You just want to eat this, huh? Okay. Now dash away, dash away, dash away. I'm being good. Oh, this part sucks. Oh, As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when we meet with an obstacle, you know it sucks. So up to the house, brought the horses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. <laughs> As I drew my head and was turning around, then the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. <laughs> he was dressed all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with acid and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and with the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings. And then he turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. See him right there? You see him? He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim, and he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Yay! That's your first story. Here. Come here. I'm trying. Still. She's tired.